now to that other big step forward in the fight against COVID-19 in Michigan. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell, the governor easing some restrictions and this impacting everything from bars and restaurants to entertainment venues and even nursing homes. And here's what we know. Restaurants and bars are allowed to be at 50% capacity and up to 100 people. Indoor entertainment venues are allowed to be at 50% capacity and up to 300 people. Exercise facilities allowed to be at 30% capacity. Retail allowed to be at 50% capacity. Outdoor entertainment facilities can have up to 1,000 guests. Nursing homes are also allowed to start allowing visitors under specific guidelines. Case numbers continue to fall and remain relatively low right here in Michigan. Just over 1,000 new cases and 24 deaths announced today in our state. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live with more details on what led to the decision and the reaction. Jennifer Ann. Well, there's no big parties being thrown just yet when business owners saying it feels a little like walking on eggshells this entire past year has, but it is good news for businesses moving forward. And with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine being made in Grand Rapids, that makes two out of the three vaccines being made right here in Michigan. There is reason for hope and the increased numbers of vaccines Michigan hopes to receive definitely played a part in this decision. Michigan is number nine nationwide for total vaccines administered. Today it was announced only 40% of those over 65 in Michigan have received their first vaccine dose and many more still struggle to find an appointment. But lower COVID positivity rates have led in part to loosening restrictions. 3.9% of inpatient beds are now being used to take care of patients with COVID-19 and that is down from 4.3% the previous week. Today Governor Whitmer announced those at long-term care facilities can have visitors once again. Under the new guidelines, family members will be able to um, go and visit their relatives in nursing homes after receiving a negative COVID-19 test. As of Friday, retail shops, movie theaters and bowling alleys may all increase their capacity to 50 percent. Gyms and casinos are allowed to operate at 30 percent capacity. Restaurants and bars indoor dining capacity is being doubled from 25 to 50 percent and the curfew moved back to 11 p.m. But is it enough to give local businesses the help they need? A lot of them are afraid to come inside. A lot of seniors are staying home, waiting for their shots, and, you know, it's just a tough struggle. It's going to take a long time before things get better as far as getting the customers back in. Governor Whitmer says the legislature has to act to pass the recovery bill that could be spending $5 billion sitting and waiting in the bank. It's $5 billion to deploy into our economy. Money that was signed by Donald Trump and supported by a bipartisan group of our own congressional delegation. Dollars to help small businesses and schools and restaurants and entertainment venues and nursing homes. This money is just sitting there. So is it the light at the end of the tunnel that some businesses have been waiting for or is it too little too late? Coming up at six o'clock, you'll hear from a couple of small businesses talking about the way they've seen customers behavior change in this last year of restrictions through the pandemic and how that could impact their business moving forward even more than the loosening of these restrictions. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Yeah, some hope for us on the horizon as we can begin to get back to some type of normalcy. Jennifer Ann, thank you. Glenda. All right, Alan.